Hi, it's Red Raven here, and welcome to my channel, my darlings. Today's video, I wanted to talk to you about me spending Christmas with COVID for the second time. Ah, uh, where do I begin? You know how you probably saw the other video, go to have my hair so cool and I really liked it, yeah. Yeah, that's probably when this died. So I spent loads of time with uh, my partner and his family, and I found out that one of his families obviously at some point had it, and we now all have it. And I've been sleeping, tired, body aches, headaches, being like complete shit, wanting to go outside because I don't like being inside for an you know, a long period of time, as well as not having the energy to go outside. So I've got to the point of day four or five where I'm just like, I don't want to deal with this anymore, else I can barely talk as well, which doesn't really help. And obviously wearing the same clothes day in, day out, and changing them when I can infrequently. I currently have this hoodie on, you probably can't see it, but it's an hoodie that has clouds on it, and then if you reverse it, it has sun, suns on them. But, uh, yeah, um, we had Christmas Day, and... Not many people ate food. I don't eat that much food. Um, so we went into leftovers. Um, I can eat bits of food here and there, but then I feel sick. I've had two fa family members be sick. Um, so yeah, it's been a, been a great Christmas of 2023. It's a great Christmas. You know, um, so we're all sort of like quarantined off and then, uh, you know, it came to a point where I was sort of like, this hell, I kind of like figured it out, where I was like, hang on a minute, I've got a monster in my, my taste buds, I can't really taste anything. So I got the racha sauce out, put my tongue, barely feel it, just pee. Got some mustard out, put it on my finger, put it on my tongue, I'm like, nah. Now, being me and my autistic spicy self, I try something that's spicy, my face will go all sorts of shapes and, you know, expressions. And I just was like, all I feel is heat. And I was like, eh, there's probably a good chance to have COVID. So, try and obviously avoid everybody because none of, no one in the house was not not well, if that makes sense. And no one outside the family could help. So I obviously, with precautions, went and bought all the COVID tests that they had at the shop. And I tested my part, me and other parts of Pops, family members, and lo and behold, me, one of his family members, and my partner all have COVID. So it's like, yay, I have COVID for the second time. But then I also realized that the rapid test ones, COVID 2s, which I think is different from COVID 19, and I read up about it, apparently, you can get infected with it multiple, multiple times. I'm like, I've been ill for like a week and a bit, so this could be me going round for round two. So Kelly, I could have had it three times, not two times. I mean, two times, sorry, didn't mean to swear at you. So, I got to a point where I want to go outside. I'm sick and tired of being ill, I'm sick and tired of being ill, I'm sick and tired of being headachy, I'm sick and tired of doing shit, I'm sick and tired of being asleep, I'm sick and tired of eating something that I really want to eat and feel sick. But I can't. So I got to the point where I'm just like, 
get me out of here. I want to go outside, but obviously I'm not well enough either to go outside and I have to be careful. Because <coughs> you girl, I have really bad asthma. So I have to be careful. That was the other symptom as well. Because I was like, my chest is really tight and every time I'm eating food, it, it hurts. Like, it's, it's taking me from the wind out of me. You know, I'm not going to do what I did last time. I finished having COVID and I was completely free. Because the last time I had COVID, I was completely free. I then decided to walk up the Mormon Hills with my friend. Like, like a week afterwards. Whilst trying to get over the first lot that was ages ago. That was, that was not a good plan. You know, I would normally be going to my mental health group today and I'm like, there, there is like no way in hell, no way in hell I'm going. So, I kind of just want to do this video just to just tell you how things are going and vent, really. Um, I hope you are having a good Christmas and having a good time and having a good New Year. And I'm gonna end this video now before my voice completely goes. So remember that I love you, you're wonderful, you're amazing, never stop being you. And I will see you in the next video, my darlings. Red Raven out!